the University of Wisconsin-Stevens Point demonstrates a partial recirculating aquaculture system at the Northern Aquaculture Demonstration Facility located in Red Cliff, Wisconsin. NADF established this partial recirculating system in 2014 using a farm tech building setup and eight dual drain tanks. Partial recirculation is achieved by use of a radial flow settler design and an aeration and degassing column. This system enables 50 to 70 percent of the water to be recirculated without the use of a drum filter nor a biofilter, which will greatly decrease equipment costs while still conserving water. Each tank has dual drains. A bottom drain accounts for a small portion of the water leaving the tank and consists of fecal material and leftover feed. 90% of the water leaves through the side drain. This is the surface water and the cleanest water of the tank. All of the side drain water flows into a pipe that is sent directly to the sump to be recirculated. Each tank has a side box that is called a radial flow settler. Water can leave the settler in two ways, either by the recirc pipe sending the water to the sump to be recirculated, or the outflow pipe, which can flush the water out of the system to the settling ponds. This is showing the bottom drain pipe, which is sending the water from the bottom drain into the radial flow settler. At the moment, no water from the bottom drain is being recirculated. It is all draining out of the radial flow settler. The only water being recirculated is from the side drain. You can see the valve is open for the outflow pipe. Therefore, water from the bottom drain will be flushed from the system and out to the settling pond. To see the RFS in action, the outflow valve is closed. This now allows for the bottom drain water to fill up the radial flow settler. This insert fits over the bottom drain pipe and allows the water to settle in the RFS. Solids will settle to the bottom of the RFS cone and can be flushed out manually by turning the outflow pipe valve open momentarily. As you can see, we are now recirculating both the side drain water and the overflow of the bottom drain water from the RFS using this design. The water that will be recirculated is gravity fed to a sump in the back corner of the building. This sump consists of an inflow pipe, a sump overflow pipe, a return pipe from the degassing and aeration column, and two pumps. These pumps will transfer the water from the sump up to the degassing and aeration column. The water is first distributed through four shower head structures and sprayed onto a column of plastic matrix. This design is specifically created as a CO2 stripper and is manufactured by LS Enterprises out of Florida. They can be found at biofilters.com. After the water percolates through the aeration and degassing column, it flows into a head tank. From the head tank, water flows into a gravity distribution line and is sent back to the tanks. Each tank has an inlet of recirculation as well as a fresh water line. Key points of the partial recirculation system include the ability to recirculate 50 to 70 percent of your water, no drum filter or biofilter expense, and water is only pumped once in the system. This system has only been demonstrated at low densities, rearing four-year-old lake trout as part of another project at the facility. If this system is running at higher densities, a drum filter may be required for effective removal of solids. 
For more information on this project and others at the facility, please visit our webpage at aquaculture.uwsp.edu.